family, I'm sharing what um, veggies and fruits I have in my refrigerator. And I have put things in containers to make the space. To help me with the space in this refrigerator, I bought some containers and it's all right. I could do a little bit better with the organizing, but for now, this is going to have to work. And in the drawer, I had a hope in this drawer here, this first drawer underneath this shelf, I have some radish and I have like cilantro, parsley, and that's where I keep my turmeric. My ginger, the smaller stuff, is in this smaller drawer for vegetables and herbs and stuff. And those would be boiled eggs, tomatoes. I have a yam I have to cook. And there goes a bunch of my favorite veg, um, vegetable squash. Up here, I have some containers with apples and lemons oranges and tangerines and up here the beer's not mine but it's there <laughs> water and the eggs I have to go easy on the eggs eggs are gassy for me I'm sure they are for quite a few people <laughs> for most for some folks eggs are gassy but they're very good they're very good healthy source of protein Okay, that's just the top shelf with the water, the beer, and eggs. That's what I have up there. Then the second shelf is full of the fruits. Apples, oranges, lemons, limes. Put my limes down there. Then the third shelf, I have my squash, boiled eggs, uh, tomatoes. And then the small drawer, like I said, I got my herbs in there and turmeric and ginger. Let me go down to it. Oh, I'm about to tear. Hold up. Be right. The second drawer, the second drawer I got my lettuce and stuff in. So with the containers taking the fruit and stuff out, it left the room for me to put my lettuce and my lettuce and stuff. Just my lettuce. And the bottom drawer has more lettuce, chard, bok chok, iceberg celery green leaf lettuce and notice i'm not saying spinach <laughs> be right back all right family family i'm sharing with you some things that i bought to add to my foods well what i'm so happy about one of these food items are the pistachios. They don't they haven't broken me out. I've been eating them I guess for a week straight and nothing's happened. So I found a nut I can eat without breaking out. Pistachios. Yay, yay. I'm so happy. So with the pistachios, I'm going to be making some pistachio butter not peanut butter pistachio butter that i can spread on fruit celery whatever i want to eat it with i'm so happy that pistachios do not break me out that's a big plus plus they're a very healthy food item and low in carbs and i also have some chia seeds Come on, camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm trying to get the light right. I also have some flaxseed. Now, I'm not new to flaxseed or the chia seeds because I have changed my diet before and I use these items in smoothies and baked goods and stuff. So, I far as I know they don't bother me so this is now me really paying attention to what I'm doing will be different to see if this stuff bothers me now 
because I'm more focused and I know what the heck I'm looking for and what I'm doing this time with this change of diet. And I also have some fresh whole, well whole nut nut that I can grate on my foods. That's them there. And I also have some organic coconut flakes there, unsweetened, that I can add in something and make a healthy little snack. That's low in carbs too. So I'm doing, keep it in mind with my carbs and um, protein, fats. So healthier fats, low carbs, or if I do high carbs, I just got to eliminate a certain, you know, amount of food. Because you can eat what you want if you're not allergic to it or if it causes you any inflammation. You can eat what you want, but it just depends on how many carbs in there and stuff like that. It would wipe out a whole day of eating. <laughs> if you choose something that's high in carbs, and then you can't eat anymore. Or that's how you get obese because you are eating a lot of carbs and stuff. Simple, simple carbs. So anyway, these are some of the things... No, I'm not a health expert or disclaimer or doctor. I'm just sharing some stuff. This is about me, so I'm just putting this in my video about what I know about some things. And this light is crazy. Wait a minute. Um, okay, I'll be back. Just want to, I'll have pictures. Now I'm getting ready to prep some vegetables to, um, so that I don't have to um, do it when I get ready to eat something. I'll have it already ready. Even though, well, it's going to be helpful to do it that way anyway. Well, all right, folks, I'll be back. I am prepping my chard. I have it in the salad spinner to dry the leaves. Then I'm going to put it into some containers for the next day I can enjoy my char without having to do the extra work before I can eat. So, yes, prepping is very necessary and convenient. So, just wanted to share. I'll be back. Okay, family, I'm sharing with you guys some prepped vegetables that I'm going to be using for tomorrow. Especially um, the boy chalk and the uh, chard. I can eat that every day, which I am eating it every day. And I have some cucumber chips and some celery sticks. When I make my little pistachio butter, I can eat that on there. And I'm also going to um, prep some apple slices for snacks or whatever. Just sharing this little part with my prepped vegetables I'll be back okay family I'm back now I have prepped some vegetables and fruits for my to help me prepare my meals so I got some lemon slices apple slices cucumber celery sticks and that white stuff that's coconut flakes and I have the boy chalk and I have the char Swiss char which I love which is another favorite vegetable the Swiss char doesn't bother me because I remember when I made those rolled burrito veggie burrito it didn't irritate my stomach so that's a good thing spinach I don't I can't eat raw spinach I have to go back and try spinach cooked and then, if it bothers me still cooked, then I know I have to completely eliminate it. Because I forgot about trying it to see, paying attention if it bothers me when after it's cooked. Okay, so now I'm showing you inside of the refrigerator with my prep vegetables and fruits in these little containers I got. My camera cut off, so I guess it's time to go charge it. But, yep, this is my refrigerator. Okay, I got to go charge my... Um, camera thanks for watching family and see you guys in a minute 
camera is really going wacko.